In today's video, I will show you how to make an easy but nice envelope with almost any square of paper. With this technique, you can make some very sweet, tiny envelopes as well as large ones that you can stuff with many treasures. They can also be used to send cards and letters in the mail. I'm Laura from the Queen of Mirth and what I do is I create beautiful journals and then I fill them up with many different artistic treasures. Now let's get started. Um, these, here I have three examples of what we're, what we're going to make today. Um, they're nice lined square envelopes and like I said we can make them, anybody can make them in pretty much any size. Um, I'm, I'm just going to show you how really sweet this is. See, um, th this one is quite small, but this one's even smaller and it fits inside. So, you know, just think of the possibilities. I love these. They make me really happy. And this one's a little bit bigger, made from a magazine page. Um, and I didn't line this one because it has the opposite side of the, of the uh, magazine and it's rather interesting, but you know, it might be better if it was lined, I'm not sure. I, for now, it's going to stay the way it is. So I'm gonna put these aside. Now, I have several squares already made because I didn't really want to be cutting squares on the, on the video, it just would be too boring. Um, I, I'll, I have several here and I'm not gonna make all of them. Maybe I'll make this one. Okay. Now what I've done is I've, this is a piece of wrapping paper, and what I've done is I have um, made an X with pencil um, from one corner to the other on both, both sides. It's just like that, and then like that and I just make a pencil line. And then, it's so simple. You don't need a template or anything for this one. Oh, I made the line kind of faint, but I can just kind of see it. So, three sides. Three sides we um, put the corners to the, to the um, center where the where the two lines intersect. And they all meet up at the middle. Now, um, I take the bottom one out and I just cut, i use the smaller scissors, I just cut a little nip here and another one here. And remember, this is the bottom flap. This is the bottom flap. And then I just basically, basically I just cut out a little triangle. And I don't need to measure it. But I'd say it's a, on this size of envelope, it's almost, it looks like about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now I just go up to, up to the, um, where, where I've made my line. And then I take this middle part and I snip it off. Now, I, I get my glue stick or my glue, whichever I want to use. Just, just to put underneath it. Now 
I could use, this is the art glitter glue. I could use either a glue or the glue stick, but I don't know why. I just thought I'd use the glue stick for this today, right now. It's good to have choices though, isn't it? And it's important, I think, if you're using a glue stick to have a piece of paper underneath so the glue doesn't, so none of the glue um, goes into the envelope because then it would not, you know, things wouldn't be able to go in that easily if it's glued shut. So that is that part. Now th we do the same with this side. Just cut a little bit and cut a little bit and cut off a triangle, cut off a triangle. This one, there it is. And then we can bring the envelope down like this. And there we have a perfect square envelope. Um, I like to cut the, um, just a minute, I like to cut the, the corner of the flap just around it. And I don't mean cut, I just mean use my, my um, circle rounder thing. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to make another one, and the other one I will make it lined. But this is good. I don't, you know, this will fit in a lot of journals. Um, this is a this is actually a folio that I'm making right now, and it has a, that this will be a, a one signature in it, and this. I don't. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's too big for that. Maybe it would probably be able to go right onto the folio itself. Yes, like that. Um, you see, it would fit on something like this, which is a little bit bigger. I'm. I'm in the process of making this one, so I'll do a video about that at another day. On another day. So I'll set this one aside and I said that I would make one and line it so I will. Um, how about this one with the music? Okay same thing. I have I have pencil lines going from corner to corner and intersecting in the middle so we can see exactly where the middle is. Now, to bring one up right to the right to the middle. And then this one, same. I'll do this one a little bit differently. I mean, there are hundreds of ways of doing everything like this. You know, this this particular kind of envelope, I mean, I don't know who would, who invented it. Probably, you know, a hundred years ago or more. But, um, but I really like making it. Because it's easy and it always looks good. The square is always nice, I think. So I'm going to cut these out. The difference is I'm cutting these out before I get it together. It doesn't really matter which, you know, what, what order we do these things in. So here we have it. I think it's a little off. So yeah, it's important to get it right to the corners. Okay. And then I like to cut this part off. And if it's a little, this is a little off. You see this, 
this is a bigger air a, a bigger indent than this one this is smaller but instead of fiddling around with it if I just cut this off that the fact that it's a little bit off will never be known noticed ever it, you can't really you can't tell anymore so now it looks perfect um, this one I have to do it like this same thing cut out the little triangle I mean if you if you measured these parts where we were making the little triangle and cutting it out if, if I actually measured um, it would never be off. It would be always perfect. But I don't mind. I don't mind a little bit of of imperfection. In fact, it's fine with me. Um, with junk journals too, it's like we have a lot of artistic freedom with these things. Okay, I have some. I have a look at this. I have a lot of paper. Not a lot. I have some paper over here. Maybe this one. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So, um, okay, this, this is definitely the bottom. This is the top. Now I'm going to cut I'm going to round my edge here with my corner rounder punch, which I love, and I wouldn't want to be without it. It's a good little thing. Um, okay, now before I before I I glue the the envelope together. I'm going to just measure and and cut out a piece. So I just trace around it like this. So, sorry. See, I'm I. Uh, I am a very imperfect person. Um, I have to start over. I was doing it on one of the sides instead of the top, but I I can tell which is the top because I happen to have it rounded. That's another reason. And then we we actually pull these up. Okay, here we go. Now, we want to make it down. This is this is just a little insert for the for the for the envelope so it will appear you know, so instead of seeing this white with the pencil mark, we'll see some, some pretty paper when we open the envelope. But, um, and it, it's like this, it's like the envelope shape, but it um, has to extend below where these meet. It doesn't have to go very far, but it has to extend below. I have to make sure that, yeah, I got to shave a little bit off. I have to make sure.
sure that the envelope will open and close and that this will fit inside. Okay, that will... Yeah, this needs a little, a little bit of love over here. Just a bit. So, here we are. That is what our envelope is going to look like. Nice, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to use the art glitter glue for this part. I just put the glue around. I, I, um, I'm so angry, but not angry. I shouldn't say I'm angry with myself. I should say that I, I'm just kind of frustrated because I have destroyed the beautiful metal tip that came with this art glitter glue. The glue is wonderful. It's very good quality. And it comes with a nice, very, very narrow metal tip that you take off and on. Put on, take off. And it also comes with a pin that you can put inside that metal thing so that the glue apparently is not supposed to dry in there and it keeps it from clogging. Well, for some reason, and I'm not sure how I did it, but my metal tip got, the, the glue dried in it and I was and I couldn't get any glue out, so I was trying to to overcome that problem by using the pin to push the glue out of the tip. And the pin broke inside the tip. Now inside the tip, there's a great big piece, or a great big part of the, look at this, nice, nice envelope, would you say? I would say so. I haven't I have to put this part down. How about that? Isn't that pretty? Anyway, the about the about the glitter art glitter glue. Um, I can't I cannot get the pin out and it's the little metal tip is full of dried glue and uh, I don't know what to do. So if anybody out there knows how to how to deal with a problem like that, please let me know. Um, I, I mentioned it in a previous vid video, and I can't be going on and on about this every time I make a video. But I really want the metal tip to work. Okay, now I don't have it. So... What we do is we just, or what I do is I simply glue the, the two inside flaps, um, glue the bottom one to them, press it nicely, and voila, everything is done. Um, I have a bone folder here somewhere. How nice is that? So it's very, very easy to make these. I mean, all you need, all you need is a square of paper. And it doesn't matter what size, pretty much. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a square of paper. Now, uh, pretty much everybody or a lot of people know how to do this. But in case you have some rectangle paper around and you want to make a quick square, all you do is you take one corner and you take it to this other side and you make sure you make sure that the edges are aligned and that they go straight to straight to the the um, new corner that you're making so just like this 
Now, I'm not making a heavy crease because I don't want a heavy crease. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do though is take my pencil and simply, now I could use my, um, uh oh, not perfect, just a minute here. It really does, it really does have to be um, perfectly square. So what I've done is not perfect. So I'm going to use, I'm, I'm going to use the pen to make the line this time because I, um, just a minute here, the fine end of the pen, because I don't want to, if I make another pencil line, I'll just confuse myself. And I don't really feel much like um, erasing right now. So here we go. There, that is a perfect square. And no, what did, oh here. Now I could use my, you know, my paper cutter thing, but scissors, good old fashioned scissors will do the job. There. So here's a perfect square. Now if you don't want to draw the pencil lines, you can always just make creases, one this, one this way, and one this way. There. And you can carry it. So now, now you have the places where the where the um, sides have to meet, here and here. And then you just cut, make your slit up here and here, make, cut out your little, your little um, triangle, put this up, cut this here, and, um, and then you can line it with some nice paper that coordinates with this other side. And if you have a corner punch, you can punch it or you can just make a, just do it yourself. Like you can even kind of make a fancy one like that. And you just now this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Like so. I don't like that. Just a minute here. And there are no real mistakes. I think in art, it's pretty hard to make a mistake. There's a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of learning that we do in decision making. And if things don't work out, there's always a solution, pretty much like 99% of the time. And also, even if there wasn't a solution, it doesn't matter because it's learning experience, you know? We just learn, you know? And the paper you're using, it's just paper, but you can use it for something else if it doesn't work out for, if I can't make an envelope. But these envelopes are so simple to make that I'd say you won't, nobody else gonna have any trouble with this. And they are very useful. And like I said, the little tiny ones are just adorable. And, um, So this is pretty much it. Okay. 
So, um, I guess this is it for today. Thank you for watching my video. And, oh, just a minute. Before I, sorry, but I feel like Columbo. Remember him? I, I've really messed up here, honestly. Now I'm just, now I'm going to just, I have to make something I can live with. Now, if I, man, if while doing this, I ended up making making it in such a way that that this is too short, which it is, I simply make my triangle longer. I cut this part out, and then this will come down farther, and it will close. And um, they're really great. I hope that I hope that you make some and. If you like this video, please let me know. Um, press the like button and please subscribe to my channel. It's a, I'm very new at this. I haven't had very I haven't made very many videos, but I'm loving what I'm doing. And if you subscribe to my video, if you subscribe to my channel, I will be really happy and I do care about each and every one of you. So thank you very much and I will see you again soon. Bye.